Hey everyone, my name is Abhishek and in today's video we are going to create some 3D textured ground inside of Blender. So before I begin, if you guys are new here then please consider subscribing and make sure to press that bell icon so that you never miss another amazing video like this. So without wasting any further ado, let's jump into Blender and get started. Alright, so before we begin we have to download some textures. So for that I am using this Polyhaven website. So you can go over here and they have bunch of different free textures which you can easily download so for this example you can pick any of these texture all these will work the same way so for this video we are going to use this aerial rock so you can just simply click on it and after that you can download the texture by simply clicking on this download button and from here you can also change the resolution so it's good to have a 8k resolution but if you have a slower pc then you can use 4k or 2k textures I'm going to download the 8K texture. So after that, just simply click on this download button and it will download the zip file, which will have all the textures. So after downloading, you will get a compressed zip file, which looks something like this. So you have to uncompress it. So you can use any of the softwares like Pindra R or 7-zip. So after that, you can extract the content of this folder and you will get these type of textures. So we are going to make use of these in order to create our ground texture so let's see how we can use this all right so right now i'm in blender and now we are going to see how we can add the textures to our surfaces so first i'm going to delete this cube so press x then delete it let's press shift a and let's add a plane and let's scale this by six times so you can select this press s and then just simply scale it now select this press ctrl a and let's apply the scale so we are going to apply our texture onto this surface and there are two ways in which you can add the texture one is the manual way and the second one is by using the add-on so first we are going to see how you can use the add-on to add your texture so in order to do that first let's install our add-on if you go under the edit you can see we have this preference option and under this go under the add-on option and from here you have to search for node wrangler just simply type node and it will show you this node wrangler just simply enable the add-on and it will be installed in blender so once you have installed the add-on you can just simply switch to shader editor and now we can start adding our texture to this so first let's create a material so you can click on new and you can see that it has automatically added the principal bsdf and the material output and in order to use the node wrangler there are certain shortcuts so in order to add all the textures at once you can select the principal bstf then you can press ctrl shift t and it will open up this from where you can simply locate wherever you have saved the textures so my textures are over here so now you can select all of these textures at once and you can just simply click on principal texture setup and right away you can see it has imported bunch of these different nodes and if we go under the rendered view you can see that we have automatically created our texture and it looks good but you will notice one more thing that it is still a flat plane it is not looking more of a 3d texture so let's fix this so in order to add these geometry we need some sort of mesh over here but right away you can see we have a simple plane so we need more segments in order to add some details to this so for that we can simply subdivide this so you can select this then press tab and now you can see we have this one big square and you can right click you can just click on subdivide and now you can see we have these smaller squares and you can just simply keep on subdividing it until you have something like this and i think this is looking good now you can again press tab to go out of this edit mode and still you can see that we have this flat plane and in order to add some displacement to this we have to enable few settings so let's First, let's switch our rendering engine so let's go to cycles because this won't work in AV and let's change this to GPU compute and if you go under the material you can see we have this option settings so if you go under the settings we have the displacement option so right now it's set to bump only and from here we are going to change this to bump and displacement so once I select this you can see that now we have some 3d geometry to this and now you can see it actually has some 3d texture to this just like this and if you want to add some more height to this you can just simply go under this displacement and from here you can increase the scale 
So if I increase this, you can see that now we have bigger chunks of these rocks and you can just simply lower down it however you want. It's completely up to you. Just don't overdo it. Otherwise it will end up looking something like this. And if you want to go with this look, then it's completely up to you. But for this example, let's set this to something like one. Yeah, I think this is looking fine. So this is how you can add some 3D texture to your ground and you can just simply scale this and just increase its size and don't forget to apply the scale so that it will apply the texture properly. And again, you can increase the scale depending upon however depth you want. So right away you can see we have our ground and let's change the background to this and let's delete this and I'm going to quickly add uh, area light GZ and let's increase its intensity and let's set the power to 100 or maybe 500. So now you can see we have our 3D ground plane and it looks very good. And if you want to add this manually, then all you have to do is just simply add these nodes one by one. So you can add a texture node by simply searching for image texture. And after that, you can click on open and then you can locate your texture. And now you have to add these textures one by one. So we will add the diffuse first like this. And then you can plug the color into the color just like this. And then you can add the roughness and then plug the color into the roughness and same thing goes with the normal you can add the normal texture and after that the normal map and it will go under the normal and in the same way you can add the displacement so you can do this manually or you can just simply use this add-on which is much faster and it's much better so this is how you can add some 3d ground texture to your scene so that's it for this video and if you guys have any queries or questions then you can ask in the comments below. So with that being said my name is Abhishek and I'll see you in the next one.